each Wednesday, the DuPont Cavalcade of Music presents a program of songs written by a composer whose contributions to the lighter music of our country have been important. Works of Irving Berlin, Rudolph Frimmel, Jerome Kern, George Gershwin, Cole Porter, Arthur Schwartz, and several others will have been presented before this DuPont summer series is concluded. This evening, the music is by Vincent Eumann, who, as any musician familiar with our lighter music will tell you, is one of our most skilled tunesmiths. Don Voorhees and his DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra will play, and radio's famed young baritone Conrad Tebow will sing. Music by Vincent Eumann's, while in a popular vein, seems to have a permanence not often found in its field. No better examples are available than numbers from the human score of No No Nanette. What a hit that show was. At one time, road companies were playing it in a half a dozen cities. You all remember this one, I Want to Be Happy. opened in Chicago, played there a year, and almost everybody knew the music before the show itself reached Broadway. Many experts figured that it would fail in New York for that reason, but it swept on to new success with such hits as the number Don Voorhees and his DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra will play for us now. T for two. <laughs> I asked Conrad Tebow what human song he'd like best to sing on this program, and he said, that's easy, a song that in my judgment is one of the very best Vincent Humans ever wrote, without a song, so here it is. Oh. 
Vincent Newman's most haunting melodies is the ever-popular Time on My Hands, which will now be played by Don Boris and the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra. Thank you. 
Men in the music business will tell you that Vincent Hulman's score for the musical comedy Great Day was one of the richest he ever wrote. The show closed after a two-week run, but that didn't stop the music from going merrily on its successful way, including the title number of the show, Great Day Itself. Before we continue with our program of Vincent Human's songs, we have a message from DuPont. For a moment, let's imagine ourselves at the intersection of two busy avenues with hundreds of automobiles streaming by. It's raining. Suddenly, a smash-up. And even though the cars are pretty badly damaged, nobody is seriously hurt. In the old days, someone might have been badly cut by jagged pieces of glass or had their eyesight endangered by flying splinters from the windshield. But now there is laminated safety glass for your car. Did you ever stop to realize just what safety glass means to you? What a comfort it is to know that your family may ride without danger of injury or disfiguration from that sort. Truly laminated glass is one of chemistry's outstanding contributions to motoring safety. When you look through a windshield or car window of safety glass, you're actually looking through cotton. Laminated safety glass is made by sandwiching a section of transparent cellulose plastic between two sheets of plate glass. Chemists get the cellulose used in this plastic from cotton. From the beginning, DuPont chemists worked to perfect safety glass. By unceasing research, they improved the clarity made windshield vision better. By improvement in the manufacturing process and with the aid of the automobile and glass industries, DuPont reduced the cost. The plastic now used in laminated glass is one-third of its original cost. Today, almost every new car is equipped with laminated safety glass. Most of the states require safety glass in motor vehicles. Thanks to such foresightedness and to research chemists and automobile engineers, Injuries from flying glass are becoming fewer and fewer. So when you're driving smoothly along in a car, remember that chemistry is helping to keep you and your family safe from flying glass. And remember, too, that just as DuPont chemists worked unceasingly to give you that protection, they are continuing their research to provide better things for better living through chemistry. When 
we wrote Vincent Humans and told him about this evening's program, he suggested that the number through the years be included. Conrad Tebow sings it for us. Another musical show for which Vincent Humans wrote the score was the light-hearted success Hit the Deck. And here's the number that always stopped the show, Sometimes I'm Happy.
Remember the movie Flying Down to Rio? Vincent Humans wrote the music, and Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers danced the karaoke brilliantly. Don Voorhees and the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra include the karaoke in a medley, with Conrad Tebow singing More Than You Know from Great Day, and the orchestra playing the always popular Hallelujah from Hit the Deck. been written about Vincent Humans. He's just gone along producing good songs, not in great quantity, but always with the melodic simplicity and rhythmic precision that make him the musician's composer. That he writes light melodies which last long after many a skyrocket hit tune has been forgotten is tribute enough to Humans' great talent. This evening completes Conrad Tebow's group of appearances on our summer series. Anything to say, Conrad? Well, just that it was a pleasure to work with my friend and great conductor Don Worries again. And I've certainly found the program worthwhile from my standpoint, not just musically either. I've known of DuPont for a long time, but I'm sure I have a better understanding of the great number of fields the company served than I had before. So I'll just say, say thank you to, you to you, Don, and thank you to you, DuPont. I hope to see you all again. Good night. It was our pleasure, Conrad. Best of luck. Next Wednesday evening with Don Voorhees and the DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra, we will have as our singing guest the brilliant and charming young star of operetta and radio, Miss Francia White, 
who has come from California to appear on this program. And the composer whose songs you will hear is Rudolph Brimmel. You all remember... The full program of music by Rudolph Brimmel next Wednesday at the same time when DuPont again presents The Cavalcade of Music. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. Thank you.